Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 211. Welcome. Well, I've got several finished objects uh, to show you for this week, and just a couple of works in progress, so let's get started and I'll show you what I got done. Okay, so, um, I've been working on a, a lot of little objects this week. Uh, the first thing I got finished, I, I had to pop in a picture because I've already given it to the recipient, but it is the baby sandals that I was working on. I showed you last week. It was a pattern. It's called the baby summer sandals, I think, something like that. And it's a pattern by ashleymarie.com and I will link it below in the description box. Of course, it's ba some baby sandals I was working on for my little grandson and uh, I've already I finished them and of course I had to give them to him so <laughs> although they they did end up being a little big because I made them like I think it's supposed to be three to six months size I just kind of looked up the the foot length of a baby that size to try to get the sole the correct length and so um, so he, he he can't wear them right now uh, but in a couple of months, hopefully they'll they'll be able to take some pictures with him wearing them or whatever. But anyway, I think they turned out really cute, and I did take some pictures of the sandals, and so I will put the picture right here of those sandals all finished. <laughs> Okay, so the next finished objects that I have, uh, yeah, the, the rest of the finished objects that I have this time, I'm looking at my notes here, they are all uh, items that I'm going to be, uh, that I've been making, that I'm going to be donating to the Garfield Make Along. Uh, I mentioned that, I think I mentioned that last episode, but I will link the information video again below, uh, so then you can check that out to see if you want to take part in that. But it is a... Um, Make along that Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet is hosting. This will be, I think, the third year that she's been hosting this. And what it is is where we are making items to uh, give to the students at the elementary school that her children go to. Um, the they've made in the past they've made hats and mittens and scarves and stuff like that but they've also made uh, people that have donated have made uh, little small amigurumis like pocket size type amigurumis um, bookmarks um, backpack buddies is what I have been making and, and keychains stuff like that that I've donated in the past or the last couple of years and uh, just small items like that and what they what they use those items well, the, the, the wearables, the hats and the scarves and the gloves and that sort of thing, they, of course, give them to those that need it. But then all, but then the small items, little toys and things and, you know, the things that we've made and the bookmarks and things, they uh, use them as incentives, uh, give them, I think, like rewards and things for being good students or working hard or, or you know, I don't know. I don't know exactly how they, how they, um, make them available for them but I think well I think she said they earn like points and things and then they can purchase <laughs> the items that they have you know these little toys and things and I think it's for good behavior and good grades and stuff like that but I'm not sure anyway <laughs> it's for a good cause and the and the kids have loved all the all the items that we have uh, made and donated in the past so Amber is doing that again from now until um, the end of August, I believe. But like I said, I will put that description in the description box. I will link the information video that talks about all the numbers and the deadlines and all that. Anyway, I love to be able to make little small items like that to send to her to donate. And so I am doing it again this year. And so I have started working on some things. So that's what the rest of my finished objects are. Okay, <laughs> long explanation. Let me show you what they are. <laughs> okay, so the first one is Romeo. <laughs> and it is a pattern I found. Um, let's see. I think I wrote down. No, I didn't. But it's a pattern and I will link it below uh, the name of the designer and where you can... Um, get it. It's free pattern. Anyway, it is a 
that little worm <laughs> and the reason is called Romeo is because if you're familiar with the term yo-yos all they are well in sewing all they are are just these round circles that they make um, and then they put the circles together and do different things flat round circles okay so the body of this little cute little worm see him <laughs> the body of this cute little worm is made from just round circles and um, it was so fun to make him and it was such a great little stash buster because I have uh, you know I mean I've always got little tiny balls of yarn leftover yarn from things in my scrap bucket and so it, it's perfect to make all these little rounds I just picked there's 12 of the little rounds that you put to, you make <laughs> and then um, I think it's 12 rounds uh, no I'm trying to remember I think it's two rounds it's like you go up to you do like six single crochets and then you double it to make it 12 single crochets around I think that's what it is but anyway the patterns free um, and so you made all the little circles and then you make the little tail and the head and I put safety eyes see <laughs> safety eyes in there uh, for his eyes and um, and then you uh, link all these uh, circles together with the uh, the end that you attach between the tail and the head but anyway i think it turned out so cute and i'm definitely going to be making some more because it doesn't take hardly no yarn whatsoever <laughs> to make with these little rounds and so uh, i'll i'll tell you more about that in just a minute when i show you the rest of it so uh rest of my finished objects so anyway there is Romeo <laughs> uh worm <laughs> and i just thought that was a cute little little <laughs> so anyway, um, that is finished object number two. Okay, so finished object number three, I got hooked on making these, and they're so fun. I made four of them. <laughs> so here they are. It is a flower keychain, but I made it into a backpack buddy, okay? So here is one of them. I think that's the first one that I made. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. He has a cute little face. <laughs> and uh, so, I, like I said, I made four. And one of them, now this one, I did actually make like the daisy, classic daisy colors where I use white for the uh, petals. Okay. And then the back side is green. See? Got a cute little face. I'm, I'm so happy with how that turned out. <laughs> so, I, like I said, I made four of them. So I made, uh, I think I made this one first with just some multicolor yarn that I had <laughs> with the green backing, okay? And then I made this one because I wanted to make it just the standard daisy color. And then I had so much fun, I thought, oh, the petals look so cute with variegated yarn. And so I made another one, and I see, this one I think, yes, I ran out of the bright yellow for the center and so but I had some gold and so I used that <laughs> and so I made two with these okay and then I had a little bit of this gold left and so I thought okay well I'll because it's just this is you make a circle of the yellow a circle of the green and then you you um stitch them together with this multicolor and and then before you go all the way around it you stuff it oh what but you have to of course stitch the face and put the eyes in yeah and those are six millimeter safety eyes okay but there's a tutorial for this um, a tutorial and a written pattern is by hooked by robin i believe that's what it is and i will link it of course below in the description box but anyway um and so you stitch them together and then you do the petals okay so one thing though I think I'm using a little this is worsted weight yarn and I think I'm using a little bit thicker yarn than what Robin was used using on hooked on Robin because she had you do the petals these are triple crochets or treble crochets and she had you do the petals like there's um, you champ three, and then she did one. You do six triple, uh, treble crochets, and then chain up three, chain three, and then slip stitch down to form the petal. Okay. Well, that was too many stitches. I was just really having a hard time getting all those stitches. Okay. So six um, triples plus the two other pieces, and, and so what I end up doing, I think I did that for one of them, 
and it was just so many stitches that I uh, these other ones I did four trebles instead of six of them and the petals I think turned it still turned out you know a good size they curve over and so I think that looks fine so that's the only thing I changed in the pattern okay so it may, it may be the hook I'm using, I, I, tr I was trying to, since I wanted to make them backpack buddies, I wanted to use as small as hook as I could that was comfortable to use that didn't split the yarn too bad. And I actually used a three millimeter hook and uh, it split the yarn a little bit, but not too bad, you know, not enough where I didn't want to use that size hook. And so uh, my stitches are pretty tight, so... Um, Maybe that's why I had to alter the amount of stitches. I don't know. But anyway, I'm so happy with these. These are so fun. And I definitely want to make more of them. Um, it's a good use of a little balls. If you have little balls of a variegated variegated yarn, I think that makes the, the petals makes them look really cute. Uh, I mean, you know, to use variegated on the petals. But, of course, you can use the standard daisy color. And it still looks cute, too. <laughs> so, anyway... So, like I said, I had a little bit more of, I think, this gold, golden yellow color. And so I was trying to start another one. But I didn't have quite enough to go around because this is actually the, the biggest round on this circle is 24 stitches. And so um, I didn't have enough. And so what I'm going to do is, is pull that back and I'm going to <laughs> make a yo-yo in you know with and make I don't know if I can make two yo-yos out of that but I know I'll at least get one of them one of these circles so then I can start um, another a worm <laughs> so anyway I love using up yarn I think it's 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 to me it's fulfilling <laughs> to be able to use up those little pieces of yarn instead of throwing them away I hate throwing I have a hard time throwing little pieces away unless they're just really small scraps because I don't want to hurt the yarn's feelings. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, I have one more finished object to show you, and it is the fourth preemie hat for the month of June. I know today is July the 1st, so I was a little, well, I just finished it a while ago, so I was a little bit late uh, as far as my goal to make four preemie hats per month. I missed it just a little bit, but anyway, it's done. <laughs> and so I made a puppy dog hat. This is a pattern by, um, well, it's it's a pattern by cream of the crop crochet.com, but I changed it just a little bit. I didn't put the row that had the ribbing on the bottom. It's the only thing I did different. And now this pattern also was actually like a Valentine. It had a Valentine's Day theme where the it was white and the the ears were red, and then they had a they had a patch around one eye that was like heart shaped and so I just changed the colors and I didn't put the patch around the eye and well they actually used buttons for eyes and so I um, crocheted a circle circles and then stitched in the pupils um, with sport weight yarn <laughs> anyway so that's how I changed it so a puppy dog hat so this is preemie hat number four for June, and so of course now it's July, so now I need to make four for July. Um, and so I'll look through my list of patterns and see which pattern I want to use next, which hat I want to make next. <laughs> okay, so that is all the finished objects I think now. Yeah, <laughs> and so let's go on to works in progress. I only have two. Uh, I worked a little bit on Bianca, which is Bernard and Bianca, the rescuer mice and rescuer rescuers inspired mice pattern. <laughs> and I will pop a picture right here. I'll go ahead and show you or remind you what B Bernard and Bianca looks like when they're finished. <laughs> Okay, so here is Bernard. He is finished, of course. He's been finished for a while. And so I did work a little bit more on Bianca. I got her head. Now, this is this is the tails to sew in the ears. But I got the head sewed onto the body, and I did stitch her nose on. And then I finished the ears, but they are just pinned in. And the reason I have not did not attach the ears yet is because just like 
Bernard, Bianca has a hat. It's like a pillbox type hat. And so I want to make the hat first to make sure that there's enough space between the ears to put the hat. And so I'll make the hat, sew the hat on, and then place the ears, you know, on either side of the hat like I did this one. He's blurry. <laughs> and so uh, that way... Um, the ears will be in the right place. So that's the reason I haven't sewed on her ears yet. And I have not done her arms yet. So that's next. Make the arms. Get that sewed on. I think that's what I did. Yeah. And then, well, but see, he has an actual sh uh, shirt. She has a scarf. Oh, and a coat. And so I know when I did his shirt um i did it it was like sleeveless first and i got it on him i had to make some adjustments because i stuffed him a little bit where he's a little more portly <laughs> i guess <laughs> but uh, i had to uh, add some increases a little bit on the pattern and a length uh to cover his tummy um but anyway so after i got it on there and then when i made the arms I actually attached the attached the yarn to it while he's wearing it and then I just went around the arm to make the sleeve to make sure that it fit and so I'll probably do that with her so I'll make the arms and sew them on and then um, yeah so I'll probably well depending on how the pattern is for her the coat so anyway so she's coming along um, Maybe I'm, I'm going to say maybe I'll, I should have her finished by next week. I'm hoping. So let's see. We'll see. <laughs> okay. And the only other works in progress I have is I worked a little bit on the knitted mitered square baby blanket that I had been working on. I hadn't worked on it. Picked it up in a couple of weeks or so. <laughs> and so I did pick it up and worked a little bit more on it. And in fact, I think I actually got to, to the next. Yeah, I got to the next color change. Um, so I'll show you. I did mark the last place that uh, I should showed you so you can see the progress of how much I made on it. Now this is a knitting project. It is a project. It's a video tutorial that I found by Noble Knits and I was just kind of in the mood of doing a knitted project and um, um, it, I also liked it because it was uh, it only uses one cake of yarn and and I used Lion Brand Mandala. I only had one cake, see, of the color Valkyrie. And so I wanted to see how, you know, and, and it, it attracted me because she only used one cake. And so since I only had one cake of this colorway, I thought, oh, I'm going to try this pattern. And, and so, and it's supposed to be for beginner knitters, which I definitely consider myself beginner knitter, even though I've been knit, I've, well, I taught myself to knit, and it's been... It's been several years, but I rarely knit, so I still consider myself beginner. So anyway, um, of course, my first love, first and foremost, is crochet. But I like to every once in a while, I like to do something a little bit different, you know, change it up some, a little bit. And so I'll do a knitted, knitted project just once in a blue moon. But so anyway, okay, <laughs> here is the progress on it. Let me hold it up. Let's see. Let me hold it this way. Make sure that it won't come off. Okay, so that's how much I've done so far. It started with this uh, light colored aqua there in the corner, and then I have a color change, and then and then it colored and then it changed again where it's going into the yellow, and then I have this yellow piece, kind of a yellow greenish, and I don't think you can tell. But I'm this last row is is the color changed just a little bit into a more true yellow. So I'm just barely into that. But anyway, that marker right there is where I was at the last time. So as you can see, I've I've grown a couple of inches, I guess, <laughs> from from where I was before. That looks like about two inches. I'm just let me see. Yeah, <laughs> I have a. Uh, measuring thing on my table here anyway about two inches it's grown that's it so anyway that's my progress on how much I have gotten done uh, I just pick it up and do a few rows here and there and in so that's it <laughs> no big hurry in finishing this I'm curious though as to how large this is going to be when I finish 
this because I have a lot left yet so uh, I'm really curious to see how big this baby blanket is going to be <laughs> okay so that is my all my works in progress <laughs> uh, let's see upcoming I have um, let's see well yesterday I did my movie and stitch video collab video that I've been working on throughout this year and I showed the project that I'm working on for that I will link that in the video uh, in the description box below I am now up to what well, that that video was um, the letter L and so now I've got uh, the next one was going to be a double feature and so I'm going to be watching two movies one starts with an M one starts with an N <laughs> and so um, but like I said I'll link it below and you can see the progress on that project or you know watch that video okay <laughs> so this upcoming Wednesday is the next Whip Wall Wednesday episode and I am really going to try to work on it this week that project this weekend and maybe I'll get that finished up because I'm sure that um, people are wanting me to move on to the next project it's just it's been taking me a while to get that one done um, so anyway that that'll be upcoming um, Oh, and I have an idea for, uh, I, don't, I guess it'll be like a tutorial, but I have something I bought, and I want to, it's like a planter type thing. It's so cute, and I got it like a Dollar Tree, and I was thinking instead of it being a planter, I'm going to try to come up with some type of way where I can fill that planter in the hole where the planter you know where the plant goes down into it's it's small you know it's not, it's not very big but I, I thought I'm t gonna turn that into like a pin cushion or something and so I'm gonna do some crocheting for that insert to try to turn that into like a pin cushion I think it's gonna be really cute and so I was thinking that while I try to do this <laughs> that I will film my progress on it in uh, my ideas of the design and so I thought that that might be something fun to um, film and um, people might like to watch that so that will be upcoming <laughs> um, what else oh I have some acquisitions I, I thought about doing a separate Hobby Lobby haul but it's not that big of a haul it's pretty small so I thought I'll just put it on to this video so I went to Hobby Lobby all the clearance yarn, well, there, there was some clearance yarn left a lot of the novelty type yarns but not a lot but I mean the ones that were clearance was that except they did have four skeins four more skeins because I had gotten this before of the yarn be dazzling the last colorway I got, I think I already put it up in my shelf, but the last colorway I got of the Dazzling was the colorway called Pool. So I found four skeins of this one. This colorway is called Hint of Jasmine. Okay, so let me show you. It is got, it's got purples in it, but then if you dig down into the the colors there's some teal looking colors and uh, some kind of greenish brownish I'm really interested and in to see um, what all colors are in that <laughs> and so they had four of these and they don't look like they match like this one has really got the purples going on okay but then this one doesn't it looks more of the green brown and I really I had to look at the name of the colorway to see if it's the same colorway and it is it is called hint of jasmine and so when I dug in here I could see oh yes there are some greens there's some of the greens and the purples it's just they're like on the inside and so um, but then this one they're like in other words all four of these look totally different now this has got some more of the purples going on in the green and then this one totally it's got the brown on the outside but as you can see I dug in there and I could see those other colors were in there so anyway I think this is going to be interesting I'm not sure what I'm going to make with this but I'm really curious as to what how the coloring is going to come out but anyway they were a dollar 49 each and so I went ahead and got all four of them at first I thought well I'll get these three because they seem to be more similar 
um, but then this one, like I said, is wrapped so much different. But I thought, well, I can't leave the poor thing. It's not, it's not its fault the way it's wrapped. <laughs> and so I, I wasn't going to leave the poor thing there by itself. So I brought it along too. So anyway, <laughs> I have all four. Okay, so that's all I got as far as the clearance yarn is this daz uh, yarn be dazzling. Okay. Of course, I had to go in the fabric department. Well, it's through the fabric department up against the wall. They have this clearance section where they have their remnants. And I have, always have to look at their remnant fabrics and see what I can find. So, I found four pieces. Uh, this one is a really light peach with some pink... Um, I don't know what they are, vines or something, the fabric. I don't know if you can really tell what it's what's going on there. But I thought it would be good good lining material. Okay, so I got that. It was only, I already, of course, I already unwrapped it because I wanted to see it and see how much there was there. And so I took the prices off. But they were all like $2, 2 to $3, something, something like that. Okay, so I got that piece. This is really pretty, and it's quite a bit. Um, I don't know if it's a full yard, but it's I think it's pretty close to it. But isn't that a pretty color? It's like blue, kind of an aqua and teal. I don't know if the color's coming out true to color. But I was thinking that that would be good for lining um, or I don't know what. Uh, either lining or even some outer parts of some bags. So, got that piece. Okay, the next one I thought was really pretty. It has some gold, kind of gold accents to it where it's kind of shiny just a little bit. Don't know if it's, it, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's batik. Might be. I don't know. Anyway, here is that one. Now that's doubled, so it's not, the piece is not as big as the other ones, but that is, that is, uh, well, see, it's a, it's a strip. Not very wide, but... I'm sure that I can get some project bags out of it combined with some other fabric. Anyway, it's pretty. I don't know if it's coming out right, but it's a really pretty green and gold. Okay. And then the last piece, this was like 50 cents. <laughs> and so I knew there wasn't very much in it, but I know that I can use it. Um, in combination, of course, with some other pieces, but I was thinking some little notion pouches, but I could not leave this there. And this is Baby Yoda. <laughs> or not, well, yeah, Baby Yoda. The child. <laughs> and anyway, that is doubled. It's just this, little, this long strip, but... Uh, I love being able to take just little pieces and make other projects with it, you know, uh, in combination, uh, you know, combined with other fabric. But anyway, so that, I couldn't pass up that little print. Okay, so that is all I got, except that I did get, they had their pillow forms on sale. So I got a 16 inch pillow, okay? And so the idea for this, I do have a project in mind. Um, if you've been watching me for a while, oh my goodness, this has probably been, not this past Christmas, the one before, so it's been a while, maybe 2018, I think, I think. Anyway, I made a corner-to-corner -corner piece that I turned into a pillow cover uh, that had a squirrel on it, the face of a squirrel, if you remember that. My mother-in-law loves squirrels, and so I made that and then put, you know, put the pillow in it, but she can, re the cover is where you can take it off and wash it. Anyway. So I made that, and so I um, I found another corner-to-corner -corner chart that I want to do and make a pillow cover out of it. And so that's what that pillow cover is going to be. And so um, the, the chart, uh, I think it's going to look really cute. And it'll go with, uh, this one's going to be for my mom, and it'll go, it'll go with her bedding. So um, be, you, can, you can be watching... Uh, for that coming up whenever I start that and then I'll show you what it is anyway so that is yeah that is all my acquisitions and everything that's going on yeah it's super hot here <laughs> uh, whoo it's super hot but it's gonna be a good weekend this is 4th of July weekend for us well 4th of July will be on July the 4th will be on uh, Sunday so um, don't have anything extra exciting going on but just some family time so that's always good <laughs> um let me see it seemed like there was something else i was going to say of course i can't remember it now 
Oh, I'm still working on my closet, rearranging my closet I showed you last week. Well, um, we are going, getting ready to do a little bit of that also. Um, adding another shelf and moving the shelves or, you know, the positioning and all that. So we're still working on it, but I will definitely show you, give you a tour of it when it gets all finished. But I think it's it's working out good. I went to Dollar Tree and I got some more uh, containers. Yeah, in fact, here they are. Take plastic off of them. See, my I don't know if you've ever watched Dollar Tree hauls here on YouTube, but they have some places they show these containers where they, they they come in the most beautiful colors. And each year or each season, they have all these different colors of those of the dollar containers. You know that Dollar Tree carries. Well, mine doesn't. <laughs> the only container colors they have is just the primary basic colors like green red blue that's it <laughs> and so i don't know i see such pretty colors like teal and peach and pink and 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 just all these other pretty seasonal type colors but my dollar tree never and none of the ones i've been here been to in my area have any of those pretty colors so anyway so i had to go with the green and since i had some of the green already i just got some more of them so anyway i bought a bunch of these trays and so that's going to be going into that um closet when it gets arranged <laughs> so stay tuned for that i think it's gonna look great i hope <laughs> So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so and follow me along on all my progress on my projects. Welcome to new subscribers. Thank you so much. And of course, to those that have been with me from the beginning, I thank you so much also for sticking in there with me and watching my videos. Love interacting with all of you. Thank you for the comments. Um, it's just so wonderful to be able to talk to people from just all over the world. It's so fun and, and I've you, you talk to some people, you know, on a regular basis that make regular comments, and it, it's like you're just, you, it's like a friend. You make friends with this person, even though you've never seen them at all. But, you know, like minded people, pe us yarny people, we just have all that in common, and so we just automatically are friends. <laughs> so I appreciate you all, and thank you so much. And subscribe and hit that like button down below. Uh, I really appreciate it. So, okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> have a great weekend, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.